What's up guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how Bitcoin and Ethereum could potentially be on the brink of absolutely exploding. Yes, we're going to be taking a look at some Bitcoin and Ethereum price action in today's video, seeing exactly where those prices could go and what that could mean for the future prices of them. We're also going to be taking a look at how Binance has burnt over $50 million in BNB and has recorded record high trading volume we're also going to keep on the th with the theme of binance unfortunately or fortunately if you like them about binance chain releasing a white paper for smart contract enabled blockchain and we're finally going to round off the video by taking a look at the former backed ceo appointed to trump's task force for reopening the u.s economy all that good stuff is coming up in today's video guys so make sure you sit back relax and enjoy the video All right, guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well. If you haven't already, make sure to smash up those likes. If we can hit 1000 likes, as always, that would be absolutely great. And if you haven't already and you would like to see more of my videos, make sure to subscribe and tick that notification bell so you get notified when I post my next upload. And as always, don't forget to comment down below if you want to be entered into the giveaway to win the Tracer storage device or the equivalent in Bitcoin. It literally takes two seconds and you could be entered to win something for free. So get your comments down below below right now. All right, guys, let's get on with the video. So Bitcoin recently came down and almost touched this 7K level, which is actually really, really interesting that we did not actually go down and touch that 7K level. And that is reasonably bullish in the immediate short term. We then had a nice little bounce from here to about one to two percent, give or take, up to about uh, seven thousand one hundred and thirty dollars, where we topped out recently. Um, right now, I'm really, really interested in the Bitcoin price. I really want to know if we are going to go up and touch this seventy-two hundred dollar level again. If we do touch it, please, I really need to see a close above it um, for me for us to remain bullish. Not only that, guys, but I do want to see if the Bitcoin price will actually come back down here and touch this seven K level. If it doesn't touch that seven K level, well, we could see it go down to around the $6,900 level. If not, we could see it go all the way down to about 70, 6,700, sorry. Um, but I really think um, with everything that's going on with the Bitcoin halving going on, um, around 24 days until the Bitcoin halving is here, um, I really think you would have to be, not stupid, but you would have to be there is more chance of Bitcoin being bullish than bearish. So I really do hope we can close above this uh, $7,200 level anytime soon uh, and just basically get on with going to the moon. <laughs> All jokes aside, I, I do really hope we can get over the $7,200 level and then hopefully go ahead and test, retest back on the $73, $74 levels where we weren't even there that much, that long ago. A few weeks ago uh, and then we can break this $7,400 level and continue up so as always guys there's no real shock here the immediate term is 7200 we need to break this level um, not immediately but I don't want to see us break below the $7,000 level um, at least for a long time at all I just need to see us above 7k which we are and above 7200 there's really not much more to know about the Bitcoin price right now um, the halving is coming uh, you really sh should hopefully be somewhat bullish um, I think it's a really bullish thing. It only happens once every four years and to not be bullish during these times, um, well, I definitely am bullish. That's all I can say. Let's go ahead and take a look at Ethereum, guys. Ethereum, we can see had a massive skyrocket in price up to just below $300 in February of this year. We then saw a massive dump, um, which happened of, for obvious reasons of uh, a rather large amount, about 64%. Now, currently, since the bottom, um, down there, we are up around about a 93%, which is absolutely insane. And Ethereum has been doing really well recently. Um, one thing I want to see for Ethereum is I really want to see us break this um, $175, $176 level. Um, we did actually find a little bit of um, resistance here on this $175 level, and we've shown it in the past back here and multiple times in the past again. Um, so this $175 level, if we can break it and go up and test 200 that would be absolutely excellent. If we don't break it, well, we're going to be still trading within this range between $150 and $175. Um, Ethereum is also fairly bullish at the moment as well. We've seen great price growth 
growth from, from it. And again, if you don't have Ethereum in your portfolio, I personally think it's a great um, a great one to hold. I do hold Ethereum and I don't plan on selling it anytime soon. So that's pretty much Ethereum. There's not really much going on there. Um, if we go ahead and take a look at the volume for Ethereum, we can see that it's still not that great. Um, it's still also like Bitcoin, the volume has been trading down. We did have this massive pump back on the 6th, um, which did spike the volumes level levels up. We had another pump, which is not the same size, a little bit smaller, so the volume was, was not quite there as much. However, the, the volume now has slowly been spiking off, unfortunately. And I really would like to see volume across the whole board of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and everything else increase um, before we do in fact go ahead and test these like $72 levels and break above them very very confidently and break above this um, $175 level comf comfortably on Ethereum. So guys if you were interested in trading particular levels uh, I really recommend Femex. It's the exchange I'm currently trading on. Um, right now they also have pretty much the best offer when it comes to um, new deposit bonuses. If you deposit 0.2 Bitcoin, you can actually get $112 for free. Um, by far and away the best deposit offer out there right now. So if you were interested in leverage trading and you are a more experienced trader, the link will be down below for Femix. And I recommend joining as it's a really nice platform um, where you can trade with decent amount of leverage. You can also have sub accounts as well. So if you want to go long on one account, short on the other account, you don't need to open a completely new account, have a completely new Bitcoin address there. You just simply transfer in half a second to your other account. So Femex will be linked down below. So guys, let's go ahead and talk about Binance. The next two articles will be about Binance. So if you don't like Binance for whatever reason, you can skip to later in the video where we talk about Bact. Um, my thoughts on Binance, I don't personally dislike it. I think they are maybe becoming a little bit too large. I feel like Binance is kind of the Amazon of the crypto industry where they're just trying to buy up and eat up every company around them and just become this massive behemoth of a company, um, which definitely isn't a terrible thing. Um, however, they may become a bit too centralized when it comes to cryptocurrency if everything is evol evolving around Binance. That's just my two cents on it. If you want to let me know what you guys think about Binance, let me know down below in the comment section. That'll enter you to win the Tracer storage device or the equivalent in Bitcoin. And of course, I would love to know your opinions on Binance. So going over this article, Binance burns over 3.3 um, million BNB worth over $50 million, which is crazy. Um, it goes on to say that the last, this is the 11th BNB burn and is approximately 50% higher than the last burn, claiming the title of the largest BNB burn to date. Every quarter we will destroy BNB based on the trading volume um, on the platform and until we destroy 50% of the total supply of BNB. That's basically what BNB is. One thing I wanted to cover here is this is a really interesting um little image here, Binance 11, 11th burn complete. And you can see each burn, it has the amount burned, the percentage of the supply, the USD value, we can see this is by far and away the largest. And this is the interesting part, the BNB price. So I personally, um, anytime BNB dips under $10, I try and buy a little bit. Um, I don't actually hold that much BNB, although I would like to hold more simply for a financial gain perspective, more than I fully agree with everything they're doing. I just think, uh, Anything under $10 is a reasonable price. And I did say that a few weeks ago, a few months ago in my top five altcoins um, to buy. I did say that as well if you wanted to watch that video. Um, so currently we can see here 1555 was the current burn. Before that 17, and before that on the eighth burn, it was $30, which is crazy. And this burn, look at this, the sixth burn under $6, which is absolutely crazy. So yeah, furthermore, the 11th burn effectively removes 1.69% of the circulating supply, creating more value for BNB holders. I do somewhat agree with that, yeah. Let's go ahead and look, take a look at Binance Chain releases white paper for smart contract embedded blockchain. Um, again, I'll reference this again, Binance is literally doing everything and anything they can to be the biggest company in crypto. Binance chain, chain developers have proposed specifications for a new blockchain which would enable smart contract functionality with the BNB ecosystem. The new Binance smart chain will be independent but tightly integrated with the original Binance chain. The team explains that it had to create a new chain in order to maintain high performance of the original which hosts Binance's decentralized exchange. 
which holds the Binance, decentralized, not Binance. He goes on to say that the execution of a smart contract may slow down the exchange and factors relating to trading. To prevent this, the team is instead launching an independent Ethereum compatible smart contract blockchain um, connected through a cross-chain bridge for BNB, which is to be expected. Um, proof of stake like consensus, the consensus algorithm um, of the new chain is called proof of stake authority, very similar to the distributed proof of stake of EOS. Um, there will be a set of 21 active validators who take turns in producing the blocks. They will be voted by BNB stakeholders, which who will also lock their tokens to express their preferences also like eos as well due to the token economics of bnb predominant stake in the network um so yeah you got to keep that in mind that due to the token economics of bnb binance are always going to have a predominant stake in that network each validator's share of the transaction fees does not depend on how much stake is pledged to them this means users will be penalized for pledging to popular validators as they will need to share rewards with more participants. This is actually very nice and it does solve an issue currently going on. The team argues that this will actually prevent the stake concentration and winner wins forever problem seen on other networks, which is a really nice feature. All right, guys, finally, moving on to the last article, former back CEO appointed to Trump's task force for reopening the economy. This is interesting. The former CEO of back and current Republican senator um, of, for Georgia, Kelly Loafer, I can never pronounce her name. I'm just going to call her Kelly, um, has been uh, rewarded with a new appointment despite recent controversies. She tweeted out saying, thank you, Donald Trump, for appointing me to your task force, uh, reopening America in the wake of COVID-19. This appointment, however, follows hot on the heels of the news that Kelly sold off seven figures worth of personal stocks after being pre uh, present at a closed door Senate Health Committee briefing in late January, sparking allegations of her illegal insider trading. Basically, they had a, a health committee in January about the coronavirus, and they were saying that this could have a big effect on not only health, but the economy as well. She then basically went home and sold all her stocks and people were not that happy about it. Trump's task force um, basically to provide counsel to the president on reopening in America, America in the wake of COVID-19. Yesterday, Trump unveiled federal guidelines for getting America back to work. These will be staggered, but do not yet have a clear target date. So guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. As a small recap, I do want Bitcoin to cross this $7,200 range. I've been saying this for weeks now. We have tested it once, twice, just in the past week or so. I really hope we can close above it for us to remain bullish. Ethereum-wise, if we can close above 175 and remain supported here and test this $200 range, that will be more than good enough for me to remain bullish. So thanks for watching today's video, guys. I will catch you tomorrow.